$2,000, fourth stimulus check, September. Update 2024. This new stimulus package may provide much-needed relief for many still struggling financially. While details continue to emerge, it appears direct payments of $2,000 per person are in store for eligible individuals and families. For those meeting certain income thresholds, this cash infusion could go a long way in helping cover expenses in the coming months. Details on who exactly qualifies seem to mirror previous rounds. Individual tax filers may receive the full amount with an adjusted gross income at or below $75,000. Married couples filing jointly have a higher threshold of $150,000. Above those levels, the amount phases out until capping at $99,000 and $198,000 respectively. Another positive is that eligibility looks broad overall. It's projected over 160 million individuals nationwide could qualify based on tax filings and federal benefit programs. This widespread coverage means many households throughout the country stand to gain much-needed support. Getting funds into so many people's hands, quickly through direct payments, has great potential to help stimulate local economies. While specifics may change as legislation progresses, proposed eligibility offers good news. Individuals who receive Social Security, disability or veterans' benefits also seem to qualify automatically, even if not required to file taxes. Their payment amount and delivery schedule would align with normal benefit processes. This encompasses tens of millions of seniors and others who could use additional assistance. For the majority who file income taxes, having direct deposit information on record with the IRS could make a big difference in speed of delivery. Reports indicate around 90 million taxpayers already have their bank account data securely filed. If enacted soon, the agency aims to process deposits for these individuals within 10 days or less. That's a best-case timeline which would get dollars to doors of many recipients in short order. However, not everyone has their bank data on record with the tax authority. In previous rounds, the IRS distributed funds via paper checks and prepaid debit cards for those without direct deposit. Unfortunately, this method has meant longer wait times of five, six weeks or more for payment delivery through postal mail. As the agency gears up distribution again, they may face capacity challenges to handle such high volume of printed disbursements. Beyond direct cash payments, the plan proposes additions to key existing relief programs. Extending unemployment benefits another few months would help continued job seekers pay essential costs of living, Billions more earmarked for emergency rental assistance aims to stem a potential wave of evictions as previous protections expire. Small businesses, so vital to local communities, may see an additional infusion through the popular Paycheck Protection Program as well. While many details remain fluid, the broad strokes provide optimism. Getting money directly into people's hands is shown to be one of the most effective ways to provide near-term economic stimulus. Doing so through a system leveraging existing IRS information has worked well, and fast delivery is crucial. Ongoing monitoring of data on areas like unemployment, housing, and more will help determine if further adjustments are needed as recovery progresses. Collaboration between parties in Washington ensures the interests of all Americans stay represented during this challenging period. Moving forward, Outreach to help enroll eligible individuals who lack tax records or don't normally file may be important. Not having a way for them to easily register risks some falling through administrative cracks. The IRS has worked to boost awareness of prior non-filer tools, but continued focus could get otherwise qualified people signed up in time. Overall, if finalized and implemented effectively, this package has great potential. Direct relief payments targeted to individuals and families have real power to immediately put needed money in pockets across the nation. When combined with additional unemployment extensions, rental help, and small business aid, it forms a comprehensive approach. While uncertainty remains, momentum is building towards economic stability and growth. With continued responsiveness, these relief efforts can make a tangible difference for the country as recovery continues. A fourth round of direct stimulus payments totaling $2,000 per person offers encouraging news. Pairing individual checks with other relief extensions in sectors like rent and jobs forms a well-rounded plan. Getting funds flowing quickly through a proven IRS system has worked before, and speed remains of essence. With flexibility to adjust if further needs arise, this proposal lays good groundwork. Much progress has been made, but challenges also continue. 
Hopefully, ongoing collaboration leads to timely passage and implementation of this much-anticipated aid. While this latest round of relief aims to provide significant assistance, important questions remain around ongoing needs and implementation challenges. For one, will the proposed levels and timelines of support prove sufficient given the depth of this crisis? Or could some programs need to be reevaluated and potentially expanded down the road? Close performance monitoring as the situation evolves will help determine whether adjustments are warranted. Another consideration is how best to ensure all those eligible actually receive the relief intended. While relying on the IRS leverages an existing system with many taxpayers' information already on file, an estimated 11 million people remain completely outside current tax or benefit system. How can policymakers facilitate simple and accessible alternatives to enroll these vulnerable individuals who may otherwise miss out? Outreach campaigns combining various government, nonprofit, and private sector resources could help maximize participation. Successfully executing such a massive distribution effort poses substantial logistical hurdles as well. Processing over 160 million payments within a compressed time frame places immense demand on IRS operations and workforce. Challenges around printing and mailing tens of millions of physical checks during an ongoing emergency also exist as do concerns over fraud and scams attempting to exploit such a large program. Oversight will be needed to monitor processing bottlenecks and guard against bad actors seeking to exploit those most in need. A further issue involves the debt collections process, as many are concerned stimulus funds intended for immediate relief could be seized by private companies or the government to pay off tax debts. While guidelines aim to protect payments, loopholes may undermine their intent and push more households into hardship. Clear, consistent communication of individuals' rights and safeguards should give confidence this aid gets to its intended purpose of supporting people in a time of crisis. Looking ahead, sustaining economic momentum after relief programs expire poses its own dilemma. Recovery is expected to be a long process, with some impacts lingering for years, yet taxpayers and the system can only withstand emergency measures for so long before fiscal realities intervene. How might future efforts transition from broad stimulus to focused retraining initiatives and support for sectors transforming in a post-pandemic landscape? Strategic planning now can help deliver aid effectively while laying foundations for longer-term growth. Of course, the potential benefits of this latest package still far outweigh the risks if implemented properly with ongoing flexibility. Direct payments have a well-established track record of success in previous rounds, and other relief extensions also aim at core needs. While concerns exist, addressing issues proactively and collaborating across party lines can help maximize positive outcomes, and with data continuously evaluated, response measures retain adaptability to course correct wherever warranted down the road. In the weeks and months ahead, open communication on progress as well as problems that arise will prove invaluable.